Hey there folks, Santee at the Arizona Ghost Riders here. I'm at Gammon's Gulch movie set today. We're filming a little western short, so uh, let me give you a tour. So yeah, this month Arizona Red, Dirty Dan and myself got to have a little fun and be in a western film. I've got to put a lid on the details for now, but when it comes out, I'll let you all know. I'll let you know. <laughs> this is the first film I've been in at Gammon's Gulch which is yet another western movie set out here in Arizona. It's not far from the historic town of Tombstone or the Mescal movie set where they actually filmed Tombstone. Jay Gammons and his wife Joanne bought the land in the 1970s and started building his old west dream town. You see, Jay's father was a security guard for John Wayne and as a young lad he was wandering around western sets getting the bug. Jay decided to make not only a filming location but also a museum. This building, the Town Hall, was a flour mill in Safford, Arizona in 1882. Jay had it dismantled, moved to Gammons, and rebuilt where it can live again. I'm with John Mars, manager here at Gammons Gulch Movie Set. Hey John, how many buildings do you have here? We have uh, 17 functional buildings and over 25 facades. We've got two saloons, a nice fancy one and a larger one. We've got a jail with two cells. Uh, we've got a men's clothing store. We've got a newspaper office. We've got a Chinese laundry, a bank. So uh, what do you do here? I'm the manager of the place. So when production's here like this, I make sure they have everything they need. Um, supervise whatever they're moving props around, making sure that nothing gets broken and that they have all they need. Because when you come here and film, you also get access to all the props we have on set. Very cool. So if you need 20 lanterns, I'll scrounge up 20 lanterns for you. That's very neat. Thanks, and you do a great job here. So. Well, thank you. The interiors have original items as well, some collected by Jay and Joanne, and some donated. If you had somebody that knew what they were doing, they could fire up this forge and make tools and make repairs. We have all the tools you would need for a blacksmith shop. Yeah. Clippers, hammers, um, everything you would, you would need. A whole wall of antique tools over here. Wrenches and such for working on wagons. Wow. A drill press. Hey. Ain't you the guy that asked about the gloves episode? That was me. What are you doing down there? <laughs> Waiting for my gloves to show up. I never said I was going to give you gloves. I, it's, it's, what, what are you laughing about? What am I doing up here? Jeez. Hey there, you all might remember Ken James here from a few episodes ago. Well, actually a few years ago. How are you doing, Ken? I'm doing good. How are you, John? This is your first movie, huh? Yes, it is, and I'm excited. Yeah, this is going to be fun. <laughs> yeah, this is this is really cool. Right. Uh, now, now, they told you that you're going to be dragged behind a horse until you die, right? Oh, that's okay. Okay, all right. Since its opening in 1995, over 65 film projects have used Gammon's Gulch as their location, and some stars have walked the dusty streets. Dirty Dan, how are you today? Oh, I need my eye patch. Your eye patch? Yes. I thought I was wearing an eye patch. Thought about the eye patch. No, you just get punched in the eye. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, you, I, I'm sure, right? Well, I'm hoping so. <laughs> hey, I'm here with Lorelai and Kim, two wonderful actors that I've actually done quite a few things with over the past. How are you guys doing today? Awesome. Yeah? How are you? And what are we playing today? Lorelai first. I'm doing background for mudslingers. Right. So I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing. I'm Today my job is to go where they point for me to go and do what they tell me to do. Okay. I'm just here to wear my guns. That's You're it. just here to wear your guns? Yep, that's okay. it. They All let right. me wear guns, so I show up. She always shows up anytime they let her wear guns. So yeah, I, she's always yeah. on set with guns. I, I know that. <laughs> she even experience. brings me guns. Yeah, so. I, yeah, I In make fact, sure people have One time guns. she had a gun and I didn't have a gun. It uh -oh. was, yeah, it was a little upsetting. Yeah, yeah. well, good job. Yeah. I was loaded, he wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> Part of the excitement of being on a set for me is watching how they do it. I've said it before, but thank you, filmmakers, for all you do to make the magic. From the production assistants to the horse wranglers, everybody works their butt off. The sheriff's office in the jail. What did you do to this place? So with a lot of cleaning, we, uh, we swept, cleaned the floors really good. We brought in this railing to kind of separate the sheriff's office area from his living area. We've got a table over here, and we're going to put a bed right over here. Uh, the idea we got from like Rio Bravo and Gunsmoke, there was always a, right. a bed for the sheriff in the jail. Right. And we've got these two cells that are all solid steel. The Border Patrol has actually come out here and surveyed these cells to see if they could use them 
in an emergency if they had a, you know, people they needed to lock up. Incidentally, Jay Gammons is also an antique automobile buff. Kinda neat if you ever want to film a 1920 sequence, huh? Now this, this is quite a fancy saloon, John. That's what we call it. We call this our fancy saloon. This bar, this back bar, were made in 1876. And brought over from Europe on a boat. Uh, they tracked the history back. It was in Prescott, Arizona for a long time, and then it ended up being purchased by the Gammons and brought here. Wow. And it's now one of our permanent fixtures. We're very proud of it. It's a good looking piece. It's beautiful. All original. Is it mahogany? Do you know? Most of them. Well, I think some it of them. probably is mahogany. That was the popular wood they used back then. When John was talking about props, he wasn't kidding. The mercantile is stocked with both original and reproduction items. Everything is usable for actors to handle in filming sequences. Ladies and gentlemen, Bill Fortenberry. Hey, you getting shot today? Uh, maybe bucked off a horse. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Shooting. I'll get beat up in Phoenix later. I'll shoot him. Why are you just always so anxious to go and shooting people? Oh, I especially like shooting you. All right, back to Bill. Wait, can I shoot him? You can shoot him. No, no, guys, no. You see our nice antique stove here. Only works through movie magic because if you look up, you'll notice the uh, pipe ends before it gets to the ceiling. Yeah, it does. So that allows production companies to move this wherever they need it in the room or even take it out of the room if they don't want to use it in the shot. So this mercantile, uh, has anybody ever uh, robbed it? Uh, uh, you know, not let. Dan, come on. I tell you, it sure is an honor to be a part of the history there. And since they're still open for making movies, TV shows, commercials, and music videos, there's a good chance we ghostwriters will be there again, keeping the spirit of the Old West alive. So this building was used in several films that have been shot here. Hey, we got a problem in the saloon. The saloon? What is it? Well, it's a place people go to get drinks, but that's not important right now. Folks, thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you on down the trail. Okay, guys, so have you heard this one? Horse walks into the bar, and the bartender says, Why the long face? You didn't like it? Was it bad? <laughs>